Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. You already know. I want to give a shout out to Notification Gang and Key Talk Gang, even though they're really the same thing, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the bell so you get a notification every time I drop a video. So the rapper that goes by the name of Casanova, I'm sure all of y'all know him. He got that song, Punch in that Mouth Muck. I knock your teeth out. Anyways, Casanova pretty much got a Rico charge. He's been inside of jail. He's been holding it down, not snitching on nobody at all. And he was just hoping that his gang could do one thing, which was return a favor to him and not snitch on him as well. You know what I'm talking about? Casanova pretty much said he's been locked down. You know what I'm talking about? In solitary confinement all for no reason at all. But what's more damaging to Casanova right now? He's actually came out and had to take a plea deal. And the reason he had to take the plea deal is because of his gang gang snitched on him. The official report says one cooperator told the feds that Senior, of course, Senior, that's actually the name of Casanova, accidentally fired a gun at a poker game. A witness told authorities that they saw Senior receive shipments of large quantities of marijuana. Senior also fired a gun during a gambling dispute. Gorilla Stone members saw him and his rap career as a way to make money and increase their careers as a way to make money and increase their status amongst the blood sex. You already know. They pretty much said that, you know, some of his Gorilla Stone people, some of them are coming out snitching, and they said they only was a part of the Gorilla Stone to get some money out of that thing. But once they realized they weren't getting no money and they was looking at a lot of time in jail with the feds, get that nigga Casanova. Let me tell you what I know, man. This nigga Casanova, yeah, I'm part of the gang, but listen, man, I done seen him get dope, a whole lot of marijuana. You know, I done seen him shoot his gun. What other information y'all need? I know his shoe size. I know where, you know, I know where he leaves his extra stash set inside of his house. I will tell y'all everything y'all need. Just don't lock me up, man. I will tell y'all. You already know. They now they're seeing as a way, you know, talking about after talking to the feds, they're now saying this is a way for them to get out and not have to do any type of time or nothing like that at all. You already know. Casanova actually came out and said, man, they've been doing me bad in here, man. They've been doing me real bad. I'm talking about they they done got me locked away inside of a solitary confinement for four months. And, you know, for nothing at all, I ain't even do nothing. That's how they treat me up inside here. His exact words were, the system is crazy. They had me in a box for four months for no reason, probably so I could take this plea. As soon as I copped out, they moved me straight from court to Exus County without my knowledge and without any of my property, legal work or nothing. Shake my head. This is crazy. You already know. So let me remind y'all again what the 13th Amendment says. The 13th Amendment, I'm not going to read it word for word, but it pretty much says you are free unless you are you are free from involuntary servitude and slavery unless you go to jail. Once you go to jail, pretty much while you're incarcerated, you are legally a slave. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Man, I'm just going to read the entire 13th Amendment. It's only a couple of sentences. It says, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude except as punishment for a crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted shall exist within the United States or any place subject to jurisdiction. Ready? No. The gang gang does not always hold it down, as you can see, because they got a 98% conviction rate. Of course, this is a Fed case, a Fed Rico case at that as well. And what do we know about Rico? Anything that anybody does literally can be said at the end of the sentence, what they always put, used to conspire the, uh, you know, to, to add on to the conspiracy they are anything that you pretty much do once they look at you for that they'll just say you're doing that to add on to this and whenever niggas see that they take them in their room they tell them they hit them with them football numbers hey man you're looking about 75 80 years man you might as well go ahead and tell actually give us that information on, on, on casanova you know he the big rapper uh he got a lot of money you know when he get out he's still gonna be paid you you probably ain't got as much money so you probably his worker so go ahead and get you know it's just like that man anyways of course a lot of this i believe is a little old for Cass. uh they said before 
before he went in, he was trying to change his life and do a lot of the stuff the right way. Uh, but of course, I guess he did slip up, but it did catch him with some. He ended up getting arrested for it all. And now he's going through this. Of course, the gang gang's not holding him down. A lot of people in the outside world that he thought was his people's not holding him down. But he did say thank you to Chris Brown because Chris Brown put money on his books and held him down as well. Anyways, let me know some. And is it free Casanova or did he put himself in this position and now he's got to deal with it? Let me know some. Coming down below, let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.